We need to keep going. I mean, we're almost there, right? I hope so. It's getting so damn cold. Wish I could stop, but I can't. Not until we're with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We gotta keep going. It's been at least an hour since I saw any walkers. Carver's people should be keeping them busy for a while. That'd be lucky. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. The plan worked. We got out of there. Most of us. Look, I know that some of your people didn't make it, but Carver was crazy. Staying would have only prolonged the inevitable. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked! We were scared! The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No! No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh... Yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. <laughs> Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. Yeah? And? Guys, that baby is coming, like it or not. Fine. And then what? It's going to be helpless and you can't protect it. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were- She died? I don't need your pity. You don't. You don't have the right. Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. Jane, wait. Oh, damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long. <sighs> We were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. Now, hopefully we can figure out a plan. How's Kenny? I tried to talk to Kenny. He flipped out on me. Started yelling. Scary shit. I know. He probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. He's just... he's not thinking straight. Somebody's gotta do something. We can't just keep sitting here forever. I should go talk to him. This is my fault. Hey, you did what you thought was right. 
That's all anyone can do in that situation. Sarita, God, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. I'm just worried, worried about you. Worried, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. There was nothing I could do. Seeing how things turned out, I think I might have preferred if you do nothing. I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! Not for the last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still. Doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water, it's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. I thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge, all right? This was the meeting place. We should stay here and try to make it safe. Clementine's right. If we leave here, they'll never find us. Okay, fine. In the meantime, I'll take Clem and we can go look that way. See if we find him. Clem took good care of herself back at Carver's. I want her watching my back. If they're alive, they can't be far. We can find them, one way or the other. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. <laughs> 